Ted Williams, the Hall of Fame baseball player who wrote the book on hitting, died today from a heart attack in Florida. The splendid splinter was 83 years old. Jim Axelrod has more on the life and career of the All-Stars All-Star. Without Ted Williams, baseball's record book would be pages thinner. Six-time batting champion, four-time home run champ, twice a triple crown winner, and the last man to hit 400. Ted has himself a double. When he said, I want to be remembered as the greatest hitter that ever lived, he probably was. Like some kind of baseball wizard, he claimed he could see the seams on a pitch as it spun, smell the wood burn as a bat hit a ball. Williams swings, and there's a long drive to deep right. A wizard who magically homered in his last at bat for the Boston Red Sox. Congratulations to Ted Williams. And turned grown men into little boys. This was the All-Star game three years ago. He was mobbed. And when he came out in the field and everybody just kind of gathered around him, I mean, I think it just showed the appreciation of every single player, you know, past and present that we had for him. For those players that night and several generations more, the appreciation was for Williams' drive to be the best. The only thing that stimulated me was when somebody was, that I was playing against was doing a better job than I was doing. Williams' life reminds us all how much things have changed in this country. Already a huge star, he interrupted his career to serve as a fighter pilot. Not once, twice. World War II and Korea. Those five prime years may have cost him Babe Ruth's home run record, but that's just the way it was back then. And this is the end of the golden age of baseball. He's the last. That era is passed with the passing of Ted Williams. Ted Williams didn't always get along with fans and reporters. At times, he seemed more consumed by fishing. But as they lower the flag to half-staff at Fenway Park and mow Teddy Ball Games number nine into the outfield grass, baseball knows it lost a legend, the splendid splinter. Even this powerful wizard couldn't stop time. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.